Good morning, guys. How are you all? Uh, I'm going to discuss one case right now in this group, and this case is particularly for this group members only because I know you wish to learn transfer pricing, right? Now, uh, the case is of Palmer Investments Group. You know, I'm going to post that judgment also. You read that judgment entirely. I'm not going to discuss that case in much more detail, but yes, there are a few couple of points which I want to discuss with you. so that it becomes interesting you for uh, to learn that entire case but before that uh, i'm coming with a tp boot camp this week i have been posting that particular part in the group if you are interested to learn basics of transfer pricing also a certain practical aspects i'm going to discuss that in two day boot camp it's on saturday sunday and uh, the timings are from 10:30 to 12:30 so your your office timings also won't get much affected your office work so do join that boot camp if you wish to learn basics of transfer pricing and certain practical aspects and if you also wish to render transfer pricing services to your clients so you must join that boot camp and i also i'm giving some free checklist free freebies in that boot camp only the, the people who are registering for that boot camp i'm giving that particular thing free now we come to the case part now this palmer investment case has two important aspects you have to read that in from this judgment only first important aspect which i found to be critical was that even though there is a share sale transaction between two independent groups still you are required to and you are required to undertake transfer pricing analysis you are required to benchmark that transaction now why you have to do this you have to read the judgment i'm not going to tell you why right but read the judgment it, it's an interesting thing what the authorities have held and appropriately they have directed the you know uh, they have upheld uh, the positions as per the law they have interpreted the law uh, in the manner which in which it was written so that is the first point what is the second point the second point is on uh, the factual part or is, is on the aspect where you know every time if there is a share sale transaction you don't need to rely on valuation or if it's a listed company share then you don't have to apply sebi formula always to for that particular transfer so that is what not the transfer price should be the arms length price in that con, uh, in that transaction should also have a control premium because there is not only transfer of ownership but there is also transfer of control it's an interesting point you should read this in this that particular thing in this particular case law i have already shared this case law with uh, you know one of the global tp expert who is collating all the things for uh, you know who is collating top 20 tp cases i have also referred this case over there so you may check that particular part i hope this thing was informative to you and do join boot camp or transfer pricing boot camp which is happening this weekend if you really wish to learn and render transfer pricing services to your clients or to the prospective clients it's a skill based boot camp so there is nothing like you know more sort of theory part we are going to understand basics fundamental basics but in the practical scenario what happens practically So this boot camp is going to be very important for the people who wish to start rendering transferring services to their clients. Thank you. I'll meet you in the boot camp.